Good afternoon, TikTok. How is everybody doing on this hump day Wednesday? Right? You know what time it is? Time for our daily prayer scripture. Our scripture for today is coming from Deuteronomy 33 and 27. The eternal God is our refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. The Bible tells us in several, several different scriptures that God is our refuge, that he is our strength, that he is our tower. Psalms 46 and 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. Whenever you need the Lord, he is already there. All he is waiting on you is to call upon him and ask him for help. Again, he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. God is always there for you. But you got to trust and you got to believe in him. And sometimes that's hard for us to do because we've been hurt so much by man, by man, that we tend to put God in that same kind of space where we don't want to trust him because something we prayed for didn't happen right away when we wanted it to happen or something that we wanted didn't show up when we wanted to come. But we have to understand that God does things his way in his time. The Bible tells us that his thoughts are not our thoughts and his ways are not our ways. His thinking is, is beyond anything you can comprehend. You have no idea what God has planned for you. God is going to blow your mind. You just got to give him the opportunity to do it and stop expecting things to happen the way you think they should happen. You want things to happen to point A to point B. God will make things happen from point A to Z to D to E to F, G, and then come back and give you what you want. That's how God works. So we have to learn to be patient and rest in him. Take our rest in him and do what we're supposed to do. Because faith without works is dead. You got to keep moving. If you keep praying for a job, but you ain't looking for a job, a job is not going to fall out of the sky. You got to put some effort into it. It's a two-way street. You got to do some things, too. God not going to move just because you want him to. You got to do your part, too. So, trust God. Let him lead you, let him guide you, let him cover you, and he will deliver you. When the enemy comes to attack you, you best believe God got you covered on the front and back and every side. Again, he is our strong tower. He is our fortress. He is our refuge, a very present help in the time of trouble. So why don't you trust him today? This is our Bible scripture for today, and I pray that you learn to trust and rely on the Lord. Have a good day.